And Nathan Brown, we spoke about him in the opener there. He kicked seven goals and really some terrific goals, wasn't there? He was fantastic. He started off, Brad Shaw was picking him up early on and, uh, and Nathan was on fire early. I mean, he made every post a win. You can just see his, his brilliant front and square work today was an absolute highlight. He, the way he ran onto the footy and, uh, and made every post a win. And seven goals and a losing side was a fantastic effort. It was one of those games where players ran ahead of the footy a lot of time. That certainly suited Brown. You felt during the call that Clint Bizzle was moved on him too late? Oh, well, I, I just think that uh, they certainly did stick with Brad Child for quite a while and, uh, and a 40 kick seven goal certainly is a winner on the day no matter how much the opposition player gets. As we see Alice give the handball over to Brown. Alice played across half forward at times today. But Brown, as you said, really keen to back himself today and not, uh, not shy with the, uh, with the flamboyance also, was he? At times today, he, he really wanted to let Geelong know that he was about. And, and towards the end of the game, I suppose, that, that brought him undone given that he kicked, I think, two goals in the first quarter, three in the second and two in the third and, and none in the last quarter was a little bit disappointing. Oh, yeah, there, I suppose there was one incident there where he, he ran in towards an open goal and, and let everyone know that he that he kicked it. And I guess uh, the, the Geelong players probably maybe got something out of that. You can see that brilliant front and square. I mean, it was terrific work. And just see him hold the ball up here and, and show the crowd <laughs> and, uh, and drill the goal. I mean, he was certainly wrapped with it. I mean, that's great to see. But I suppose the uh, the opposition side certainly get their, their hair up in the back of their necks and Brad Scholl certainly gave it to him after that. What about that? Now, what do you think of players doing that type of thing? I mean, we've never seen that from you in your career. No, no, I think it's... it's it's probably a little bit over the top. I think that uh, there's nothing wrong with showing a bit of emotion in that, but it certainly gives the, the opposition side something to fire up about. And I think there's no doubt that the word went around the Geelong camp that, uh, listen, we've got to win this game because uh, these blokes might be uh, might be enjoying their, their uh, victory too much. Would that have been spoken about after the game? Oh, I don't know. There's probably It's probably not a big deal made out of it, but uh, it was just one of those little incidences during the game that, uh, that probably doesn't help.